Welcome to Lecture Online. What do we mean by the, the term percent? Well, percent is a term that gets used and it's synonymous to a fraction or a decimal. If we say we have 0% of something, we mean we have nothing of it. If we say that we have 100% of something, it means we have the whole thing. 100% is the same thing as 1. If we have a percent between 0 and 100, it's like having a fraction of it, like a portion of it, like half of it, three quarters, two tenths, something like that. And usually when we compare it to money, it's easier to get the feeling for it, to get the perception of what really percent means. Let's say we have 25% of a single dollar. Well, 25% of a dollar means we have 25 cents, which means we have one quarter of a dollar. That means 25% is the same as a quarter. 50% of a dollar means that we have 50 cents, which means that 50 cents, a half a dollar, that's 50% of a whole dollar. 75% of a dollar means that we have 75 cents, which means we have three quarters of a dollar. So 75% of a dollar is three quarters of a dollar. And 100% of a dollar means we have the whole thing. We have the whole dollar, means we have a dollar. There it is. Graphically, we can say that 25% represents a quarter of the whole thing. Notice that we've divided this circle into four equal quarters. If I then shade in one quarter of that, I have 25% of the entire circle. 50% means I have two of these quarters. Two quarters add up to a half. And a half means I have 50% because 50% is half of 100%. Therefore, I have the half of the whole thing. 75% means I have three quarters of the whole thing. 75% means I have three quarters of 100%. 75% means I have three quarters of the pie. But what if we have something like 30% or 80%? Well, this quarter means I have 25%, so this means 25%. And if I add up another 5% to that, I now have 30%, which means this sliver here represents 5% of the whole thing, or 5 out of 100. 80% means I have 75% plus 5%. So these three quarters add up to 75%. This sliver here adds up to another 5%. So I have a total of 80%. It turns out that when we talk about percent, let's say 72%, the way we can think of it, it's the same as saying 72 divided by 100. Or if we have 68%, we can say that's the same thing as 68 divided by 100 just like 25% is equal to 25 over 100. And tying that back in with the money, remember that 25% of a dollar was 25 cents? Well, 25% of a dollar is 25 divided by 100, or one quarter of a dollar, or 25 cents. So 25% or percent in general is simply another way of expressing a fraction or expressing a decimal, because I can write this as 0.25, I can write this as 0.68, and I can write this as 0.72. Now you can see that percent, fractions, and decimals are really all the same thing in different forms. Now that we know that, we'll do some videos and show you how you convert from one to the other and how we can use percentages to calculate certain problems. And that's what we mean by percent.